Okay, I uh, we collected some sea urchins the other day ago in Central Texas, and I'm gonna get trying to get some of this limestone off of there. So I'm gonna show you a few of the uh, tools that I use to <clears throat> uh, clean some of my rocks and stuff, just to actually get them a little bit more professionally prepared. So this right here is a um, a needle gun, which is a textile cleaner which I bought for relatively cheap online and uh, this kind of just blasts and pressure wash all this stuff away so I'm gonna do a little bit of work real quick and I will show you guys the end result but don't forget your safety glasses I guess we could show y'all something like this, which is a little bit more dirty. There you go, and as you all can see, we got a whole lot of that top layer of limestone off. So now we're going to take these and show you all what the next step would be. Are, this is our air filter y'all can hear that running air compressors out there behind and here's our abrasive here's our box with our hand holes that we're going to be using and here are some of our sea urchins there's one there are a few of the ones that I tried to show you all cleaning and uh, this light kind of messes with my camera phone, my phone on my camera. And uh, I'm just going to set this right on top of the glass lid there so you all can see what's going on. But it is going to, as I said, that light is going to affect um, the camera just a little bit there. Let's see if we can uh, clean the camera up. You know, get that camera pretty good and clean. Wipe off the plexiglass. And here's our abrasive pencil. This is our uh, the actual dolomite sprayer. And here's a air chisel. So another great tool. This um, works great for the more encrusted limestone, as you all see there.
a lot of the uh, needle gun is done at my house like I was saying and right now we are actually at the gym and mineral society so that's why I was kind of showing you guys around so all this really nice equipment is um, actually up here at the gym and mineral society
Alrighty, well we still got a little bit more to go, but y'all get the basic idea. This is um, how our cleaning system pretty much works. Well, for me at least, so thank you everybody for watching. Um, I am back home now. I did a little bit to this ammonite, but not too much. Still gonna have some prep work to remove the rest of that and expose the rest of that shell. Here's a limestone replaced petrified wood. And I did a little bit on that one there as well. But look at these, um, these urchins, these sand dollars. Oh, I also did some mineral displays. I made a few of these myself. I made several hundred of these myself, I should say. Made it quite a bit of them, but I had to polish the sides today on the lapidary equipment up there at the German Mineral Society as well. And here are these as well. I only found a small number of these. But as y'all can see, I started cleaning this one. These are going to take a lot more um, attention, these spiny urchins. They're going to take a whole lot more as far as cleaning goes on these. You can see I started this one as well. So those are both very nice. As I said, I only found four. Here's number three and here's number four. Before this spills all the way up, I'll show you all the piece of petrified wood from Arizona as well that we cut in the oil saw. So now we gotta get all that oil off there. It's gonna be a little bit of work. Arizona stuff's got a lot of fractures. You can see that fracture right there. But we're just gonna face polish this anyways. Not gonna do too much to it. Just put a face polish on that. But there y'all go. What do y'all think? Nice little fossils, if you ask me. And some of these are going to be available. Uh, some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not. Um, Nathan's Rocks, Gems, Crystals, and Petrified Wood on Facebook. Or just add me, same name as uh, YouTube profile, Nathan Gandera. Y'all can contact me about all the stuff that I find. And I have plenty of other videos. Lots of videos from here in Texas. So, subscribe to my channel. Find me on YouTube. Ask me plenty of questions, just don't ask me to give you specific locations.